On the table, we are back to our smashing ways with Smashers Dino Island, collecting and reviewing these giant Smashers eggs that I think you will be very interested to see what is inside these mega dino eggs. Hey everyone, this is Dan, and thank you for watching Squirrel Stampede today as we discover an all new adventure with Smashers. Previously, we had checked out the skulls, the giant Dino Island pirate skulls, and they were very very entertaining but now we go back to classic with the mega dino eggs every year smashers has a new dino egg to smash open and discover we've got the red t-rex head we've got the black t-rex head and 25 surprises inside each so we have lots to smash today and uncover let's get right to it and help John Hammond out and collect some more dinosaurs squirrel stampede Okay, so on the table we have the black T-Rex Mega Dino Egg, and we also have the red T-Rex Mega Dino Egg to smash on open with over 25 surprises inside. John Hammond is already trying to figure out how to turn all these stages into an attraction. We've got Smash, Scratch Map, Slime, Sand, Dino Surprise. Like always, plenty of things to do. And what we are hunting for, I see maybe an orange T-Rex and then a red Spinosaurus. I think that's a Spino. And I'm going to guess the Spino, if it's red, would be in the red-headed T-Rex egg. But we don't know that yet. These eggs are packed again. I see another golden skull. Did we see a golden skull before? I thought we did. Most importantly, the mini smash eggs included. And I think everyone's agreed we need more smash eggs. So plenty to do to keep us busy. And of course, John Hammond has included all this fine print to secure his assets. Just in case someone gets eaten by a T-Rex, he is secure. Oh, and for a quick recap and what we had found in the Smashers Dino Pirate Skull, obviously all the little collectible Smashers figurines that really make Smashers series Smashers. Not so much the giant eggs in my opinion. But a few of the character minis we found, there's that special pirate skeleton Captain Hook figurine and a couple golden T-Rex heads. Most likely will we see more of those today in these giant smashers mega dino eggs, probably. Alright, so let's get up and do this. <gasps> 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 Will someone just help John Hammond up, please? <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay, so I think I'll just try to do these both together in tandem. It will speed up the process, and we'll try to keep everything down the John Hammond line. Everything on this side will be from the black T-Rex head, and everything over here will be from the red T-Rex head. So let's begin and first start by removing all this excess packaging. A big phew! Oh, Hammond! Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I certainly see this review is going to take it out on Hammond. Let's let him rest for just a moment. So the first stage, and always one of the most enjoyable stages of the Mega Giant Eggs, is to smack open many different ways. Sometimes you can just grab onto the T-Rex head here and smash. Or... Crack! Whoa! There we go. Uh, this old table's been through a lot. I hope I didn't dent it too bad. So inside we've got Dino Foam! We made a great football experience last time. We've got Mega Dino Egg. We have lots of packaging. Oh, and I think this is going to be the orange T-Rex. So 
may be verified as the black T-Rex head will be a T-Rex inside, whereas a red should yield a Spinosaurus. At least it did for me today. Leave a note in the comments what happened to you. Dino sand. Dino slime. Always a mess. And what makes Smashers Smashers? The smashing eggs. Yeah! Gotta have four, oh, uh, sorry. Gotta have four of those included. Really wish we could see more, see more multi-packs outside of these eggs. That would be what we really need to see. So this is this line of Hammond. Now we've got to open up this side. And this time I think I'm just going to try to pop this. Oh, it's really tight. Wow. Oh, sorry Landry. Didn't see you under there. There we go. And over here on this side of the Hammond line, we've got eggs already rolling off. Place these over here. Pretty much all the same things. All the same things. We'll try our best to keep these three eggs. There should be a fourth all together. Oh, I see it. It's way under my table. Don't forget where that is. So we've got the T-Rex map on this side. That yields, there it is, the Spinosaurus over here. So there is our instructions quest for the red Spinosaurus. Snarl is its name. Dino fact. Spinosaurus were the biggest of all carnivore dinos, and scientists think that they were the first dinosaur to ever be able to swim. I didn't realize they were the largest. I thought they were just one of the largest. We've got our smash instructions there, how to build, and our map. Our scratch map to discover, and of course our T-Rex one as well. There's our map there. We probably only really need to scratch one map. It's probably, probably the same map here. We'll build your quest. And there we have our Rex Chomp in orange. Dino fact, T-Rex could grow as long as a school bus and have 60 sharp teeth used to throw prey into the air and then swallow the prey hole. Now, I don't know about that. How would they know that? That's really odd, but that's what it says. How's the great John Hammond line doing right now? Perhaps some ice cream would help. <laughs> All right, Hammond is back up. I think I'll just work off the T-Rex map today. Let's try and do that. Sliding these items this way. Sliding some of these items over here. Probably work on those eggs towards the end. All right, so our quest begins. Our quest begins. I always like the scratch maps. Nice and thick, glossy cardstock. What's washed up at the dino shore for number one? The brick separator, always a really good scratching tool. And we'll start with this gold bag right here. I believe it would be this one, Dino Sand, because sand is found at the Dino Shore, of course. So there's our Spino Sand and our Rex Sand. And we can find out what's inside. Probably something small, maybe like a T-Rex tooth or something. The sand compound is usually one of the better long-lasting compounds if you're careful. Oh, there we go. I've got little tiny T-Rex forearms to start us off with, and maybe the back end of a tail. If that's the tail, this Rex might not be very large. And over here for Spino, I see more forearms, or no, those look like legs, and they're very tiny. So these guys might not be very big at all. And we can easily keep them separated by their color. Nice deep red. And there's our compound. It almost resembles a doughy bread right now, doesn't it? It kind of has this bread look, but it's sandy. And it's pretty good. It's more sand this time than stretch. Sometimes these kinetic sand packs, they always behave a little differently. Are they moist or are they dry? This is more dry, but I'm sure everyone will have a little bit of a different experience. But there you go, with the sand included. I think I just destroyed this bag really bad. I'll try and get it back into my T-Rex side and hopefully be able to save it for whenever I feel the need to make a huge, huge, absolute huge mess. All right, moving on. Okay, what is next? There's Landry. I was wondering where you were. 
crushed by all the packaging, you can see Hammond has already discovered the T-Rex arm. Pretty small. We'll see how the body turns out as we move along. Adventure 2. Heads up, there's nowhere to egg escape. Love the puns. And this time, I believe our dino is stuck in the dino foam. Another great foam pack. These were probably the funnest part of the pirate eggs. We have one for each here. So maybe we will find a torso or a leg so. Oh, I keep ripping into the Ziploc. Darn. Our flume. Our Floamy foam, so fluorescent, and our head of our T-Rex. Chomp, was it? I'm still, I'm still picking out some of the foam from this Rex, from the pirate egg. You can see it's still like throughout its skull. So this stuff can be a little bit tricky to work with. It can be really bad, especially when it gets jammed up into your Rex's head. I'm going to use an X tool. Is this okay to like use a treasure X tool on a Smashers dino head? Is that like Pepsi and Coke? Maybe <laughs> a little bit. Okay, so that cleaned up really well. There's our T-Rex head. And I'm starting to see a little more scale here. The arms and tail might just appear stumpy on this build. And this, behold, our magnificent Flomey Foam. About the same consistency as last time. You can break it apart, you can turn it into a ball, you can smash it down. It's really quite fun. You could probably use it to hide your Smasher figurines, cover them up, you know, who's inside the egg. Look at that, it's stuck to my wrist. Really fun, really bright fluorescent Seahawks green here on that one. So throw that in there and check out our Spinosaurus, most likely the head of our Spinosaurus. And it sure is, there it is. Oh, and this one's also just covered. Maybe I could bring some out and like squish it together somehow. Where's that X tool? Landry, X tool! Quite the exaggerated head feature on this one. A lot of stuff stuck under that tongue. Looking good, looking really good. It's the same bright red as the pterodactyl that I had found from one of the other large eggs. It was in my garage this week. The pterodactyl flew into my garage. What? Did I just say flew? I don't know what I just said. The pterodactyl flew into my garage and it was still covered with the inside slime, that um, silly putty slime, and it had leaked everywhere. It was a huge mess. Hopefully we'll see that again today. And Hammond back there continuing to build. Let's move on to our next adventure. Three, don't slow down. You'll have to leg it. I'm thinking we're in the water. And this has to be the dino slime segment. Here we go again with the slime. Oh boy. The slime is always hit or miss lately. I've got particles everywhere. Let's move that clean up so we don't get that in the slime. So here's our T-Rex slime bag. Chomps slime. We've got a big T-Rex leg coming out of a treasure chest. Yellow bag. Feels pretty full. That was my best tear. I've been really tearing these bags awful today. I keep getting too close to the Ziploc and you want to keep the Ziploc nice and tight if you want to preserve what you have. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh my. Last time, wasn't it a tar? Like a black tar? This time we we're still all in green, a fluorescent green. And this is a solid quality slime today. This is a good one. It does not feel too runny. I think it's going to quickly clean up. We've got two orange T-Rex legs. Aren't you glad I didn't say banana Rex legs? Um, getting it out from inside the cracks in there, a little tricky. Okay, there we go. Got one mostly done. 
And you could rinse that off if you need it too. Look at that, it's quality. Oh, it's so bright. It is so reflectively fluorescent. Oh my goodness. That is some cool dino slime this time. Consistency is, you know, you just don't know what you're gonna get. And sometimes when it's, it sits in package for a while, maybe they rolled out the pallet of these eggs and placed them in the sun. You just don't know what you're going to get for quality, but this round was good. We've got a nice little T-Rex skull and crossbones on the leg to identify. Very Jurassic Park-esque in the dinosaur collection to brand your dino. Might be able to combine that slime and make a really good, really good one. So let's see what we got. Probably the legs for our Spino. Another good solid bag open. Here we go. This just drops out instantly. Ooh. We've got two. I wonder if we can mix and match these at all. Probably not. That's always been the downfall of some of these figurines is the leg joints really pop off easy. And I see pretty basic leg joints. This one, I don't know if that's even gonna hold on. What is on the back end of this one? There is a fish biting into the back end, back end of the leg here of the Spino. That's pretty funny. I think we saw something like that similar before. So we've got two legs for our Spino and another great quality slime pack in bright fluorescent green. All right, then moving on to our next adventure. What do we have here? We've got something near the volcano on the map. So we've kind of started through the sands and wandered down over to the tropical region where this really cool squid was, or octopus, probably octopus, and then kind of around these mountainous, icy, slimy regions, down towards this eyeball tower of Sauron, and then over here to the volcano. What do we have over here? Hardly able to read, Volcano turning back now. Volcano turning back. That would be this one right here. A mega dino egg inside for both Rex and the Spino. If I recall last time, these were pretty much the air compound. Oh, oh, oh. You can never catch that air. It just goes away. And there's our core body for the Rex. Pretty basic. Almost looks like they may at one time had been thinking light up effect with the transparency spine there, maybe press a button, it lights up, but no, it's hollow. And again, that air compound, there's just a little bit left. There's just, oh, <laughs> oh, rats. Okay, one more, the Spino bag here, and our Mega Dino Egg Pack. I'll try to capture this air just a little bit. Oh, oh, no, 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 stop, 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 up, oh, oh, there goes the air, and, Okay, mighty Spino. Look at the crest on this one. This one might be pretty cool once built. I've seen many a T-Rex. I don't see Spino as often. I know a lot of people are super Spino fans. Nice gold. Look at the golden skull crossbone on the leg there. The Rex had it on the leg. Nicely done. So this will be nice. Again, a little hollow. Could have been a light up feature that they kind of abandoned. Hammond, would you like to do a teaser on the dinosaur you found? Oh, yes, please. So John Hammond has the Hammond collection right now for Jurassic World, Jurassic Park. Here is the Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus Rex ultra fancy Hammond collection dinosaur. We have to tease that eye on the Rex. Look at that, it is like deep. You can see into it, translucent, very beautiful. And over on the back, Hammond displays a beautiful articulated T-Rex straight from the John Hammond line. These have been a lot of fun. So stay tuned for the Hammond collection. Oh, maybe in the next few weeks, months, years. You know how I go. All right, the table is a mess. What do we have next? And the Hammond line has kind of been breached with Hammond off to the side, but I think we're gonna do okay. We're on our final adventure. We've passed through the volcano, and now we're headed towards the icy pirate skull. Gosh, we're gonna like shatter into pieces with this hot to cold deal going, but Arg, you ready for adventure? Is level adventure five. 
And it's got to be our last and final bag. Uh, there's one here, and there's one here, and these are Mystery Treasure. So this could very well be the skull. Another T-Rex skull, we'll find out. And it, oh, it, oh, and it, oh, it, oh, oh, it, oh, oh, it, oh. That's a surprise. It's a pirate. So our, we actually have a different pirate figurine included with the Smash Mega Eggs. It's a living pirate with a red beard and hook and sword. Very nicely done. And another T-Rex skull. Where is our previous? So our previous T-Rex skull right here, and it is just the same. So if you collect many of these eggs, you're going to get many of these golden heads. Too bad they did not uh, make a multitude of different dino gold heads. Had you collected the whole thing, it would have been a little more spectacular. But okay, so here is our new Redbeard figure. Oop, sorry, Redbeard. And what we had found before, our skeleton captain. They've switched hook sides, so I don't believe it's the same character. We don't have a Curse of the Black Pearl going on here. But that's pretty nice. I thought for sure we were going to see this guy again. But in the Mega Dino Packs, we're going to actually get a living captain. Which kind of makes sense. I keep dropping him, sorry. Uh, which makes sense, because this was the Pirate Skull Pack, so everything was skeletonized. And this one was maybe living, so pretty neat there. And most likely this will be the same thing. Yep, another gold T-Rex head and another red beard pirate, which I like. That's pretty fun. It kind of shows you, though, you do not need both of these eggs. Pick your favorite dinosaur, Rex or Spino. Have a good afternoon. So now our adventure is mostly complete. We can construct our dinosaurs. So let's start with the T-Rex. What was its name again? Chomp? I believe it was a chomp. There's its head. There's its body. There's its legs. Right now Chomp looks like he fell off a cliff and splatted himself into the table. And first things first, which direction does the head go on? Probably this way. Oh, and I still have some of those little green foam pieces. They never disappear. They never disappear. All right, we start off with a solid neck joint connection. And again, I've had many troubles in the past with these guys, arms and legs just easily falling off, which has always been unfortunate. Hopefully this series will be better. Try a forearm here. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good solid forearm clip. Let's try a back leg, another piece of phloem. Worried about these back legs, especially on the spino. Oh, that's pretty tight. And we've got another one here. Okay, feels good. And finally our tail, which feels very much like a oversized tail connector from the Five Surprise, which never went in very well. But this one is doing okay. That one's doing okay. Just kind of test squeezing a little more here. And there's our T-Rex. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hammond, we need your arm here. It's mine. Mine. Spare no expense. Uh, okay, so let's get this little tiny forearm on here. Okay, so there's our orange T-Rex chomp. If you can get that one side leg out a little farther than the other, and it will press against the plastic right there, you can get a good standing pose. Oops! All right, we have breaking news here. We have to break into our regularly scheduled review here. As John Arnold here has just indicated, through his old school computer, we have seen this T-Rex before. This is a total repeat. I don't know why I didn't notice this at first. It's totally obvious now, but Chomp here is just a clone of our Smashers Mega Light Up Lava Dino. Look at that. It is the exact same thing. That's why I was thinking this inside body structure could be powerful by a light up feature as we had this character from before with a light up back spine the tail even that's where the action feature goes in I can't believe I forgot about the lava so chomp here is just a lesser form of reproduction without the light effect it's still kind of a solid fun t-rex toy 
it's holding together pretty well. I know some of these dinosaurs can fall apart. These two are pretty solid. But yes, thanks to Mr. Arnold here and his old school calculating computer, we were able to verify that this is just a repeat of this. If you never got a chance at a mega light up lava dino, now's your chance to pick up a Smasher's Dino Island non light up T-Rex chomp. Still pretty fun. I just had to clarify that. Now back to our regularly scheduled review. So then we can build our Spino next. There's our Spinosaurus body. Try our head, drop down our head. Nice tight fit. Really cool looking one with the red here. The Smasher's Zuru Red. It's got a distinct look, the red from their plastic. And one forearm and another. It is said that Spinosaurus may have spent a lot of time in the marshy shorelands, kind of bobbing around looking for seafood, crawdads. Well, good, this leg is holding. I was very worried about these legs. They don't look like they would position in well, but we're doing okay. And finally the tail. There we go. Also with that weird little action feature really not going anywhere. We might be actually lunging down because we do have one foot a little flat. So I think we're lunging down, which is kind of how they are. And I think we can go like that. Not too bad at all. A little more ferocious than Chomp. Chomp here is a little more like your best friend dog next door, whereas Snarl here Looks like he'll just bite your leg off. And I've got him positioned a little bit on his front legs. Now interrupting back from our regularly scheduled review, John Arnold has once again identified from his old school computer that this too, this Spinosaurus too, was from the Smasher's Mega Light Up Dinos, as this is the same body feature once again with the action feature tail that you would click to light up the back spine. Just modified a little bit, they concealed the covers and the battery compartments and the speakers and all those pieces and just reworked the same dinosaur for Pirate Skull Island. Again, if you have never picked these up before, this is your chance to pick up one now, minus the cool light up features. Kind of bummer Zuru did that and not giving us brand new dinosaurs, but that's kind of how it goes. It's a little bit of a rerun series. So now back to our regularly scheduled review where we will pretend that these dinos here are completely new and we've never really seen them before. Okay, so now why we are all here for the smashing eggs. We're going to try to collect a few more of these characters. Uh, we did not collect a full set yet. There's several out there to still look for. I think I would really like to find a Brontosaurus, that would be fun. But yeah, there's there's a few in here we'd like to find and, and increase our chances now that we have four more eggs on each side. So we'll start over here, let's get Hammond back down the Hammond line. And we have four eggs, these are from the T-Rex egg. I'm pretty 100% sure this time, unlike last time where a few things got mixed up. Let's first very carefully remove the plastic packaging. Oops. And that was not careful. I had fumbled an egg right off the table, not carefully opening. We found our first and another moose. Our second moose find of the series. I think that's our second. Oh, maybe our third. That's our third. Now included, we do have an egg reformer. I am awful at this. But if you like to re-experience it, you can reform these eggs and do it again and again. But we are going to crack open our eggs manually now. Let's see what this one has. That's a tight egg. And it is a saber tooth. Tooth tiger, tooth tiger, which we have seen before. So this is getting kind of depressing. All right, who is next? We really want to see a brontosaurus. Oh, it is another mammoth, probably our third or fourth. Our third mammoth find, and it is named Mammoth, if you're looking for the name. I do like this one quite a bit, just because of its hulking size. And finally, what do we have here? Oh, that's new and different. We did not see this one last time. Yes, it's the T-Rex. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It's the T-Rex with a nice little Look at that, almost painted better than the uh, full-blown T-Rex here. We've got a gold painted spine, 
We've got pink splotchies and a green tail, a little bit better paint. They actually said, hey, let's paint the mini and not the big one as much. But they're finally a T-Rex. I think this one is very new to me. I don't believe I've ever seen this, but I'm going to have to dig through my Smashers collection. I know some of these characters have been repeated. Well, all of them have pretty much been repeated, but this one is a rare find for me, so super excited. No Brontosaurus yet, but we have a second chance here. Four more eggs from the Spinosaurus pack. Four more bone smash eggs to smash. Got to love these, they are fun. And we're ready for round two. Fingers crossed for something new. It's an egg. Did we see an egg last time? The jury says no. We have seen them before, probably from Frozen or other series Volcano. This is just egg. We have a little eye looking out, pretty funny. Next egg. Okay, this is new too, I believe. He won't stand very well, it's a bull. Or I should say bison, also painted well, a gold splotch there. We'll get in just in a second. So our second new find of Smasher's series here for Dino Island. How about this one? There we go, this one's really kicking. We've got a golden Triceratops. Look at that, that's really pretty. I don't believe rare. Everything in this list seems to be equal. There's nothing labeled rare, but if it's gold, heck, I'll call it rare. So that's a fun find. And finally, our last egg. Oh, it's our golden squirrel again. It's actually a fox, but I call it a golden squirrel. So our red T-Rex Spinosaurus Mega Dino Egg was the better for what we found today in Smashers. I'm pretty sure it's very random, so your results will vary from what I just found, but all four of these are new to me in this collection. We may have seen them before in other collections repainted, but in this series, they're new, and they're looking pretty good. I like the golden ones. They have a really nice painted gold look to them. A little extra detail too, you know? There's a little bit of a transparency blue on the back of this one, a little splat on its crest, some gold on its horns, you know? Just a little bit of detail. I wish they had transposed, translated over onto the large ones with some of the missed opportunities here. All right, have we seen everything here? Have we seen everything? Let's go through the list here on the outside of the egg includes, we did one mega dino egg, that's the outer shell and you can rebuild these if you desire. One pirate smasher figurine, so that was red beard hair. One golden skull, we had discovered that. The scratch and find maps we worked on. We dug through the dino sand. We slurped up a little bit of dino slime. We took a nap on some of the dino foam. We enjoyed the four puppy stickers. Wait, what? no we did not. Where are the four puppy stickers? Um, oh, there we go. I remember these from the previous egg. I wonder if they will be any different. We've got a T-Rex skull in fossil, fossilized, eating a little grub. It's like it's alive. And we've got a T-Rex smashing from an egg. So these are different puppy stickers. There's our eye guy looking out. And finally, our Smashosaur T-Rex pirate t-rex so these are fun i love puppy stickers they're so old school another pack here found in the smashosaur spinosaur egg probably the same ones looks like it did we only get three with that one? Oh no they're stuck there we go pretty fun now have we found everything that was the puppy stickers we did the four mini smash egg characters one smash rebuilder back here Helpful if you need an extra hand at rebuilding. One smash o -shore. so these were our giant smash o -shore builds, smash o -shore. One instruction sheet, which is kind of on the back of the map, unless they meant our smashing instructions with character guide, which is the next thing they mentioned. So we have found everything, we have discovered everything inside. I wish we could see a little more figurines with these. That's the funnest part. But these were definitely something to go through. Give yourself an afternoon of fun. And we are not even finished yet with Smasher's Dino Island because next time we will go even smaller with the Dino Island mini eggs, over 10 surprises inside. So there is a black T-Rex inside there somewhere. There is a green T-Rex inside there somewhere. And there is a red T-Rex in there somewhere. 
well, maybe not T-Rexes. What do we find? We're looking for a smaller Spinosaurus, a smaller T-Rex, and a Stegosaurus. So those will be fun to look forward to probably in a few weeks, months, or years. You know my release schedule. But today it was all about the Mega Dino Egg and I think we found some pretty cool things. And that is this year's Mega Dino Egg from Smasher's Dino Island. Pretty interesting. I think they've leveled up a little bit. Both dinosaurs inside were pretty solid and all the adventures and levels and surprises turned out pretty interesting. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel live, and a squamit. What was your favorite Dino Island mini we uncovered this time? Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> oh, it, oh.